Hola guys, welcome to my channel and in this video I'd be ranting about my Synology NAS and I'd be rant I'd be ranting. I'd be upgrading its memory module. Uh, its memory to six gigabytes. I'd be adding four gigabytes into it. Uh with a two gigabyte soldered into the unit, right? And anyway, from the research I was able to do, the information I was able to gather most of the people who were using single rank modules with a memory configuration of by eight uh, was able most of them were able to make it uh, get it to work and most of the people who were using by 16 configuration uh, it's either their machine hangs or it's simply or damages the machine I, I don't know but me personally i'm trying to stick as much as possible to to the recommended uh, memory uh as i've mentioned i i don't want to turn this thing into a brick uh, or an expensive brick at that and that said uh synology is recommending to use of course their Synol synology uh, module but it is a 2666 megahertz uh module four gigabytes uh reason for that is the cpu the c the the my synology by the way my nas by the way is a 220 plus and that cpu i forget the model it'll be in the description field below that cpu can only handle a total of eight gigabyte ram so uh i only i decided to use to stick in a four gigabytes only uh, DDR4, uh, single rank by eight uh, configuration, and yeah, uh, reason for it for that is again, most of the people who are buying third party uh, modules, uh, most of them are using single rank by eight. Regardless if they're using, because if you search the internet well enough, uh, you'd be able to see that some people are able to make eight gigabyte module work with their nas so me uh I, I i really think six a total of six gigabytes is is enough for me otherwise i would have bought uh, a better model uh, a better nas model something like that all right uh enough intro now we'll just perform some very basic benchmarks in regards to the the most memory hungry app i have installed into my nas is the 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 plex software and also the ds video reason for this is i, I don't really use plex right now because of I, i'm not really sure because i don't have the option uh using hardware acceleration for my plex software even though even if i access it through my you know through your dsm but with ds video uh, i find that uh there's an option there for hardware acceleration meaning I, i'm able to utilize intel's quick sync uh but with plex i'm not i can't find the option where i can enable quick sync with plex with my ds220 plus so there you go so we'll just perform a quick benchmark comparing i'd be launching plex uh load a movie play a movie and then we'll time it and then we'd be playing a video using ds video as well time it record it and i'd be installing the module let's see if it'll perform better all right let me just set things up and be right back all right nothing much to set up actually anyway uh, i did mention that i'd be that i'd be timing it but i, I don't think uh, i really need to do that well, but what I will do is I will be monitoring its memory, uh, you know, uh, usage and we'll see uh, how it performs. Right now, it, it's been sitting here for a while now and right now I'm utilizing 46% of my memory. Uh, again, the stock only has 2 gigabytes of memory, all right? And okay, I, I'd be launching. Uh, as you guys may know, yeah. The, the Plex and the DS videos the is a TV's application, but but it still logs into the server or the media server which is installed into my NAS, right? So we should see a bit of a bump jump 
here in my memory usage. So I'd be launching Plex now. And from 46%, it's now still 46. So, all right. Plex is here. I have a jump in my network activity there. Uh, what do you guys want to watch or see? Korean? Some Korean series? No. Uh, let's... Request could not be completed. All right movies the first one here is ant-man is this a 4k let's launch one that's 4k uh, no it's only 1080 uh let's launch let's launch wonder woman or justice league uh so this is 4k 6 mbps the my memory utilization stayed uh, 46, now it's 47. And let's play this thing. Uh, let's just make sure it's transcoding. Or, or maybe auto. Uh, let's make my CPU work here. Uh, I chose a uh, playback mode to transcoding, all right? And let's play it. Memory usage is now 72%. Now, you have to understand, the thing with the memory here is it's not because um, it's not because it's only utilizing 72% you'd think that you, you already have enough. Um, system has a, uh, system has a way of knowing to bottleneck itself just so that you won't stress your memory usage something like that it's some kind of a like uh, when you're editing videos uh, and you only have 16 gigabytes of RAM installed and when you when you check your memory usage it only says there you're you're utilizing 90% of your memory but but from 16 gigabytes of RAM now you upgrade to a 32 gigabyte of ram uh you'd notice that uh you you still do need uh more ram into your system something like that so uh yeah so now it's 73 percent and it's working fine now let's try to forward things let's see if it can cope up now i'm fast forwarding i'm skipping to what's this uh 20 minutes, 50 minutes. Let's play it. Let's play it. Play it. It's not playing. So that's the thing. My mem my CPU usage jumped to 100% right now. And it's still processing. And here's the thing with Plex. Since I can't use... Okay. Since I can't use uh, Intel Quick Sync, this happens often. Uh, that's why I decided to use uh, DS Video. And my memory stuck at 73%. It's buffering. Uh, by the way, my network's connected through uh, Ethernet, so this shouldn't happen. And CPU utilization is still at 98% this time. Memory usage still at uh, 73%. So I'll end it here for Plex. So I tried to skip ahead. It's buffering. Not really good. Now let's check. I'll exit here and I'll I'd be launching DS video. So DS video is now open and 
my memory usage now is maintaining 49% memory usage and my CPU usage is down to 3%. I've reset the settings so it's easier to read. Now we'd be launching the movie here real quick. And where was it? TV shows, movie, yeah. And we'd be going to, what was it? Uh, Justice League. So we'd be playing that in English and we'd be playing that in English. Now I'm here. Still hasn't moved from 49%. CPUs jumped to, I don't know, what's that? Uh, maybe 6%. And now it's down to 3% again, the CPU usage. Memories stable at 49 percent but but uh do take note that i have intel sync enabled right now so hey what do you know uh, maybe maybe once i install this thing here uh i'd be able to run uh i'd be able to run plex more smoothly but i really don't like using plex uh reason for that is like for example i want to wash off my phone uh, you have to, you know, buy, subscribe, something like that. You have to pay for something uh, just to be able to stream off using your phone. But with DS video, since I have Synology already, uh, it's basically free. So that's basically it. But again, as I've shown, as I've shown earlier, maybe once I install this, maybe it'll be smoother. We'd find out later on. Uh, right now, memory's stuck at uh 49% it's not going higher than that but my network usage though is spiking up and down uh memory usage is down uh it's basically uh averaging at 5 3 to 5% usage for my CPU uh there's no way there's no way to monitor your you know your encoding decoding uh, for my Intel Quick Sync, so I wouldn't know, but I'm pretty sure it's working hard right now. So, um, I'm not having problems with my in regards to memory with my DS video, but as we've seen earlier uh, with my Plex, uh, it, it was utilizing 70 ish, 70 ish uh, memory usage. So, after installing this thing, uh, we'd see if it'll perform better, all right? So, let me just pause the video here first. And uh, a quick word, I'm sorry. Uh, obviously, you'd want to shut your NAS down before installing the memory module. And I just want to emphasize that I am using a 4 gigabyte stick with a 26 megahertz single rank by 8 memory configuration. And, and uh, I'm not really sure how this will work. Uh, I believe after installing this, it'll run some basic memory test for, 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 for this thing. And But to be on the safer side, you may want to back your files up uh, before, before, before using this one, especially a third-party module. Uh, we're already chipping out by buying this. Uh, I bought this for uh, 1100 pesos. The, the Synology module is around $90, so that's around 5000 pesos, something like that. But uh, as Synology mentioned, uh, there is a chance of breaking your unit uh, when you're using another device, right? So we may want to be careful on that one. Back your files up first. If you don't have Hyper Backup installed, uh, I find uh, I find uh, Hyper Backup a really good software. Anyway, uh, the NAS is still shutting down. Uh, let's just wait for it, all right? A few minutes later. So here it is. And so you'd have to remove two of your drives so you'd be able to install the module in there. Uh, be sure be sure to remember where which drives go in where because 
I'm pretty sure if you install them uh, the wrong way, you'd have to reconfigure your, rebuild your RAID setup. I, I'm not too sure because I haven't done it myself, but I'm pretty sure that'll happen. That's what's going to happen. So just remember where, which drives go in where. And as you can see here, the, the RAM module goes into this one, to this slot here, right there. And of course, I haven't opened the box up or the package up. Uh, let me just go grab some scissors real quick. So I'm able to open the RAM up now, the package now. Installing this thing is pretty much the same as you would install it into a, a laptop. And this is how it looks. Oh uh, yeah, pretty standard. And even the PCB layout, uh, as the one uh, Synology has, the D4 NESO module. If you guys could see, I'm not sure if you could, but the, the even the uh, PCB layout is pretty uh pretty similar. Anyway, uh, install it here and pop it right in. Ooh. It's snug. You'd really have to push it. it. It's on. It's in an angle, right? So, but. Uh, you'd really have to push it, uh, uh, put a bit of force, not too much force, all right? Don't, don't break the thing. And yeah, all right, it fits. And look, let me just check if it needs some cleaning. It's still good. The, the fan's actually not in a bad shape. It's actually quite clean right now. I don't know. Uh, let me just install this, uh, back and we'll be back in a bit. Oh, and I, I'm sorry, uh, I, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to make this video short. Uh, you know, uh, I, I'm trying to do it all in, all in one take. And anyway, uh, what I actually did was I, I put a label in one of my drives, labeled number one, so I, I don't get confused. It may be a good idea for you guys to do that as well. Uh, yeah, let me just put this right back in and click and the next one as well. All right, let me just put this back. We'll be right back. Okay, the NAS is uh, back in place. I'd be turning it on right now. Uh, I'm recording the screen. Uh, I haven't tried this before. Um, right now, I'm just recording the screen. I, I'm just hoping that it'll, you know, log itself back in. And we'll see how it goes. You know how it is with an ass. It'll beep once it's ready, right? So I, I'm hoping that when it beeps, I'm logged back in. So, so let's just wait for it to beep. You know what? I think it's all right. It beat, and I had an email um, connected to. Uh, so my NAS beat, and uh, but before that, uh, I actually received an email saying that I from Synology. Uh, you know those warning alert emails. Uh, telling me that I installed a non-Synology memory module into installed into my system. So I just ignored that. And right now I'm logged back into DSM and uh, uh, I forget to press record. And I actually checked the message already and I do have a system event here saying that I have, it did have a, it did detect a non-Synology uh, uh, module installed, memory module installed. Anyway, uh, skipping, uh, noting on that one. Uh, resource monitor, uh, what do we have here? 13%? Earlier, if you guys could remember, you could rewind. Uh, earlier, my memory usage was idling at 47, 49%, I think. And right now, it's only idling at 13%, so that's a good indicator. If you could 
open this and check our memory utilization so so it seems like we're able to successfully install our module or successfully run a third-party module uh, I have a total of six gigabytes right now and reserved yeah 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 we have a th three three point eight gigabytes all right so I think it's it's all good uh, utilizing 13 percent right now well uh, let's see what uh let's just open system information real quick it may have some message uh, that needs reading uh, I have here oh here's the model of the CPU it's j4025 so there you go and as per Intel's specs it maxes at 8 gigabyte of RAM so uh, total RAM uh, which we have right which I have right now 6 plus 2 is 8 right so if you install uh, an 8 gigabyte uh, stick module uh, you'd have a total of 10 gigabytes of RAM installed so uh, I, I prefer to stick to the recommended uh, you know all right uh, thermal status uh, total physical memory 6144 makes sense uh, being the you know binary thing and uh, I'm not seeing any warnings in the control panel so that's good all right seems like uh, basing here in the resource monitor uh, everything is good hmm uh, utilizations down to 2% for the CPU um, uh, I think that's good oh, we were running at 3% earlier and yeah utilization of memories stuck at 13% now let's see if Plex still buffers I'd be launching Plex right now I think it will it it, it, it has more something to do with you know encoding decoding than memory usage I, I hope I'm wrong I, I really hope I didn't waste 1100 pesos uh for this one here well well the objective of this video is uh, to let you guys know uh that four gigabyte of ram 2666 megahertz single rank by eight memory configuration works with my system it may not work 100 percent with your system uh we don't know you know how it is uh sometimes memory modules uh you know uh, work with this system not with the other system stuff like that but statistics is really good with uh, single rank by eight so that's all I'm saying if you guys wanna you know uh, spending what's what's 1100 pesos baby that's like $100 uh, $50 25 $20 uh, yeah anyway $20 yeah good so spending $20 first uh, in in the hopes that it'll work opposed to buying ninety dollars you know just like that uh, I, I I think it's a good gamble in, in my opinion so well it's working fine with me I, I hope it works with you and all right Justice League let me play this one let's resume memory modules uh, still at 13 percent let's resume uh, my network usage jumped a bit. Now it's uh, 6 Mbps. Memory usage is still the same. And the, the, as I've mentioned earlier, the thing I'm having problems with Plex is whenever I skip, it buffers for quite a while. So I'd be skipping ahead. Let's see how it performs. I think this is pretty good. Let's play it right now. All right. Defined. You're all at your mercy, Dick. Yep. Power grids to our telecommunications. Everyone's lives are controlled and dominated by complex I think it's, it's handling really good. This is what I mean. 
Uh, you know, earlier with the two gigabyte, you know, the 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 built-in two gigabyte module, it was hovering at ninety percent, seventy percent, right? And it stays there, right? But right now, I'm not leaving thirteen percent. And if you guys could see here, and I'm only using. 700 800 megabytes what's that that's less than 70 percent so that's all i'm saying um with two gigabytes i was utilizing uh 70 percent so that's around uh one gigabyte is 50 one gigabyte is 50 percent so i'm utilizing about uh 1.5 gigabytes of ram when i was only using two gigabytes of ram you know what i mean right now with a total of eight gigabytes i'm only utilizing 800 megabytes of ram uh as i've mentioned earlier the system has why is the volume so loud there you go as i was saying earlier as i was saying earlier uh the system has again i just want to make this video one take for the entirety of it uh, as I was saying, uh, the system has its own way of throttling itself, you know? So, anyway, uh, with 8 gigabytes of RAM, total RAM installed into my system, I'm only utilizing 800 megabytes. But, but, with only 2 gigabytes installed into the system, the stock configuration, I am actually utilizing 1500 gigabytes. So or 1500 megabytes so that's more than half uh there you have it uh, i was really impressed all along i thought well utilizing intel quick sync intel's quick sync may have something to do with it but still improving your ram module really improves your performance uh i'm not buffering uh, let me just I w actually I got really tired of Plex because of this whenever I'm skipping ahead or going back uh, it just stops but right now it's it's uh, flowing more smoothly you know I I I'm going back right now and I'd be playing it's still playing man and it never goes beyond 800 megabytes of memory usage this is really good now the only quirk i have with plex is using my phone to watch videos uh if you want to use your phone to watch plex movies from your plex media server you'd have to subscribe you'd have to pay some uh that's my dog anyway uh enough of plex let's go to ds video thing with ds video is it's performing really well with you know intel quick sync but for the heck of it let's still try to play some videos off of it uh there you go let's watch a movie uh we already know earlier justice league was working fine right let's uh let's play uh another 4k I believe this free guy here is 4K. Uh, yeah, this is 4K. Ah, it's only 1080. Uh, oh, this one's 4K, I think. Are you 4K? Yeah, this is 4K. Uh, I, I really believe this is 4K. Spanish. Uh, I clicked the wrong button. Anyway. Okay, so it's there. Let's skip ahead. Oh, B. Sevar. Sit. All right, I'm skipping ahead. Memory usage jumped a bit. Now it's using 809, 806. All right pretty quick right 
Oh, pressing the wrong button. There you go. 806, 809 megabytes, so still pretty good, I think. Yeah, it is good. So, bottom line here is, um, you'd really have to gauge if you need more memory modules or not, or rather memory capacity or not. But my point of this video is, Installing 4 gigabytes of RAM more into your system really does help. Apparently, with it really helps flex out. So there you have it. But me personally, my 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 system. I'm using my NAS for my editing, while some other people's watching off of uh, you know DS video, and it it really uh, bugs my system down. So installing more module makes more sense to me. Now buying third-party modules uh, i really have to stress this uh, synology does have a disclaimer that installing third-party memory modules may damage your system um well uh, i i think you really have to weigh things uh all i'm saying is um with uh with the information i was able to get most of the people were able to make single rank by eight modules work with their system and it's working fine with me right now and i bought the transcend uh jet ram from facebook uh link in the description no i won't be able to post the link because it's from facebook but i will do post the name of the store i bought it from or the you know the store i bought it from uh down there so if you're from the philippines you may want to check them out and yeah uh I, i'm really glad i'm really glad that it worked out for me so i i hope it works out well for you as well and i hope you guys like this video and as always see you in the next one